Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my paper flowers for Thanksgiving. So to get started I took a white sheet of paper and I just started drawing out my petals. So I'm going to do a large petal and then I'll do a medium sized petal and then I'll do a smaller petal. Whenever I do the smaller petal I kind of compare it to the medium petal and then kind of just go in about like maybe half an inch on the side and half an inch at the top and then that's how I kind of get my shape from there. And then you can draw it however you want and then you'll just cut that out and then you can just trace it on top of the colored paper. Also whenever I made my petals I made the stem a little bit thinner than the one that you see here. A friend did hers a little bit thicker so we went with that and it actually sticks much better whenever you're trying to fold in the petals to actually make the flower. So I would recommend doing a little bit more of a thicker stem on the end there. And with the big petal I started out with four sheets of paper and then the medium one I did two and folded that in half. And then the smaller one I took one sheet of paper and folded it into fours. And now I'm going to take a glue stick and I'm going to roll up uh, my petals just so it gives it that more curvy look. And then I'm going to cut a little slit in the bottom there. So as you can see there and that's where we're going to end up folding it to make the flowers actually stick up. So as you can see there, we're going to hot glue one side and then fold it on top of one another. Kind of press it down, let it dry a little bit. And then, um, that one I actually did backwards. You want the flower to kind of fold downwards. So you'll fold on top and then the flower will kind of curve down. So I don't know if you can kind of see that there. But you'll do that to each and every one of them. And then once you get them all glued together, then you can start actually gluing the petals together. And then you'll just um, start from one side and gluing just the, what is that, that left side of the petal, and then you'll kind of just put them together. So as you see there, and you just place it, and then you kind of want to hold it a little bit because they will fall apart. So just hold it down for maybe like 10 seconds, maybe a little bit longer than that. But yeah, so you'll just go all the way, and then the last one you're actually going to put on top of the right side, and then you're going to put it underneath that left side there. So then it goes straight around, and each um, petal will be overlapping one another. And then you'll just start on your inside doing the same thing. So now, as you can see, it looks like a flower. And then I'll show you at the ending on how to um, do the inside of the flower. So this next flower I'm going to do is going to be a little bit of a different design, which I am going to use the same pattern. So I'm going to take the pattern and I'm only going to go up on half of the petal there, as you can see, and then I'm going to draw whatever design I want. So this one I decided to do is a spiky look. I thought maroon, poisonous, make it a little scarier. So yeah, but you can do all different kinds of shapes. Um, it gives it a little bit more um, detail and a little more interesting to look at whenever all your flowers are a little different there. But yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing, which is going to be four sheets of paper for the big one, and then two sheets of paper for the medium one, which as you can see there, I'm going to fold it in half. And then on the smaller one, which I will be doing the same thing, it's going to be one sheet of paper folded into four, which I'll fold it in half how I did this one, and then I'll just fold it again. And then that will give me four flowers for the small ones.
So now to get started on the center of the flower, I'm going to fold one sheet of paper um, two sides in and cut it down the middle. And then I'm going to cut little slits all the way down, not cutting it straight through, but cutting just cutting the top there. And once I get that all done, I am going to do a straight line of hot glue. And then I'm going to start rolling it up. And that will be the center of your flower. All you're going to do then is start fluffing it out. And I did, um... I did one of these for most of my flowers. At first I was putting two of them together, so I would roll up one and then I would roll that um, first one onto another sheet of paper. But they pretty much look the same. I don't even think you can really tell which one is the two sheets and which one's the one sheet. So I just left it as one sheet, saved paper, and saved me some hot glue. And then what I'm putting the flowers on is sheetrock. So I got me a piece of sheetrock. I screwed it on top of... Um, we had like a wooden display, so I screwed it on top of there so it'd stay. And I am just hot gluing the back of the flowers, and I'm sticking it on there. You want to leave it on for a little while. You want to make sure that it presses on very well and that it stays, because if you just do it a little bit, it will fall right off. It's much easier if you put the sheet rock, ugh, the sheet rock on the floor and glue it that way. And then it kind of more sets why it's sitting there. I'm like this one you have to hold it the whole time until the hot glue kind of dries so it won't fall. And then I was hoping to do the whole wall and flowers that I had planned but I ran out of paper and then I went to the store and got a pack of paper and on the front it didn't look metallic whenever I got home and opened up the package that I got. It ended up being metallic flowers which did not match the flowers that I had so I ended up just taking some fabric which was a dress that I was going to do that I didn't have time so I just put it as kind of the backdrop there, and then I just thumbtack that into the wall. So I can show you there, I did um, two thumbtacks on the side and two at the top just to get it to stay, and I don't think it looks that bad. So I hope y'all think it turned out well as well, and that y'all will end up making your own paper flyers at home. Enjoy and have a great Thanksgiving!